Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Hello. Hi. Here we are on TV once again. Turn on the machine, start talking. Be talking here for an hour. That's what we do every day. Uh, on your deal with me. You guys ever seen the program before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Adrian's. Hello. Hi. Uh, we haven't seen you guys in a while, I think. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been maybe a, almost a month for you guys, I think. Probably. Yeah. It's been a little, yeah, almost. Probably. I don't know. Probably. We're in the new studio. Yep. You guys nice. have been here. Have you I been in here? Been in here? when the program's on. Yeah. Have yeah, I used to come in here to get, get like, the lawnmower. I do the lawn here. Uh-huh. I'm kind of the maintenance guy. I thought they have a, um... Uh, I saw the lawn people out here. Yeah, they replaced you. Oh, they did? Yeah. yeah. Maybe the landlord got some... Yeah, you were replaced know. by the landlord. Oh, they, do they still have a lawnmower here? I can take a little... Uh, That's a I see the weed whacker over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the mower's over there. That's some studio stuff. This lawn mowing thing. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, have you guys had a good time in the last month? You guys any, seen anything on the streets in the last month? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the whole Lake Bear thing. So there was quite a few yokels out. Crazy uh, people. Yeah. I yeah. heard a lot of strange things. I didn't know if people were yelling at me or if they were just yelling or talking to themselves. It was crazy times on the streets. Did you, I saw, I saw you there. Did you go to Adrian, other Adrian? See Lake I Fair? I went to Lake Fair for a little bit. See those fireworks? Yeah, I watched them from my house, actually. You can see them from up there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, our living room's pretty crazy. Oh. It's got like, it's, it's like half our living room's like windows and it's up I don't know, you got a pretty good view of the city from her uh Yeah, I window. live in a different house now. Oh, okay. That's good. I move all the time. I saw a lot of people, they were taking pictures of the fireworks. I thought that was Why? weird. Yeah. Yeah. What, okay. They really need to remember that? Yeah. What are they going to do with these pictures? It's kind of going to look the same, I thought, you know, all the fireworks pictures. I'm like, I saw these fireworks because they're... Were they taking them with their, like, cell phones? Yeah. You're not going to get a good picture doing that. Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of weird, blurry blobs. Yeah. This mic seems quiet. Maybe it's the... I don't think it's going to shock you. Maybe no, you want to trade? I'll, I'll use it and, and then we can... If I get shocked again, I'll know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, think I, it's really, okay. I really don't want to get shocked. Yeah, that, that would be bad. I got shocked yesterday, but it wasn't It wasn't like... Was it on the program? Did it was on the, the program. Gonna see it? Yeah, but it, it wasn't like... Total like crazy shocking time. It's just a little kind of you're like oh my being. Some, I feel itchy. Like your hand, my hands are feeling kind of itchy. Oh, that's not bad. And I'm like oh wait no, I'm getting shocked. So it was like a little bit of shock. But yesterday somebody told me that if I get shocked, that maybe it's uh, um gonna make me smarter. That's what they told me yesterday. Who said that? Who said that? Maybe. Dan or Desmond, who was on I'm here. Something like Dan would say. Yeah, he said that it it has some science stuff there. <laughs> yeah, Lake Fair. Yeah, you were working the kid ride. Yeah, yeah, you can see I'm tan, bro. Tan viewers can. Oh, I, I do see the that. Sun. What ride were you working? I walked around. On the I worked at little kids rides. I watched little kids for. I saw him working on the boats. I did boats. Yeah. Oh, the boats were so cute. Ran the boats. Those kids were happy. Yeah. Did you see any um really really um bad parents being really mean to their poor kids? Uh yeah, you always see bad parents, but I don't want to judge. But definitely you see some hitting and what? lots of yelling. You saw hitting? Hitting and yelling, but it's oh you know it's their own kids. I think it's a you can do whatever you want your own kids. Oh yeah, scar them for life if you want to. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's probably bad to scar them for life, but it's it's yeah, your right. I, I don't know how how good of a job I would do if I was a parent. You know, you yeah. never you don't know what being a parent does to you, does to you emotionally. You That's know? why I decided to never be one. Yeah. Well, I might, but you know, I I guess it. I hope that doesn't happen. I guess I'm just kind of prepared to do like permanent scarring to my children if I have them. Yeah. You know, there's not really getting... It's depressing. Who left messages? There's not yeah. really <laughs> any getting around that. 
They, they, I didn't see any crazy problems. If I did, I would, you know, I didn't see any like yeah. authority calling issues or anything like that. Maybe just some questionable things. Oh yeah, here's here's a message from Dan Dobler. So hi, Kenny. This is Dan. You can call me back. Probably. Hi, Kenny. It's Dan. We haven't called me back for a while. I have been. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be doing okay. Maybe Dan doesn't know how to ch check his voicemail. Uh, he's Maybe going back. Bye. Let's call. I'll call him and see if he knows. I'll ask him. We'll see if he knows how to ch check his voicemails. Dan Dobler. Yeah, we're in the new studio. This is. You guys have been here to this place probably. Oh yeah, plenty of times. Well, we cleaned it out. Yeah, in no, here it looks, nice. it looks nice. It's a pretty big room. Yeah. Here we go. I, I think it's kind of cool that thing hanging in the middle of the shot there. The cords, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. They're all tangled up. We're calling Dan Dobler back. Hello? Hello, hey, Dan. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, good, how are you doing? Fine. We're on TV. I know. Oh, good. Hey, Dan, do you check uh, in? I, I, I'm with I'm 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 my sister right now. I'll call you back, okay? Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Where did he say he that? said he's at his sister's or he's with his sister or something. Oh, okay. You know, I don't know if he's going to make it. What, what you got there? Your spaghetti? Yeah. Something like that. Just some pasta. Pasta and sauce? Yeah. You make, what do you put in the sauce? Um, <laughs> lots of stuff. It's a secret. Secret sauce sauce. Yeah. Adrian's secret. Adrian? Yeah. You guys have a, not, it's not your secret. No, yeah. no, it has nothing to do with him. No, so it's not, not an Adrian secret. secret, it's just to you. So just to me. Just yeah. This, this one. You can't say stuff about Adrian anymore in third person. No. No one. Yeah, Adrian's on there. Yeah. It's an Adrian thing. It's it. two of you now. There. I was here first. Hey, you know, a lot, a lot of talk shows, they have their own, the shows, like, on the mug. Like, when you watch talk shows late Oh, night. yeah. What, you should get some mugs. Yeah, that'd be good. It, it, get... You know, it looks get some it looks pretty professional. I go to I could go to the painted plate. You could drink whatever you wanted in there. Yeah, the painted plate they can make they make mugs there. Or maybe oh, where you can paint your own mug. Yeah, but that wouldn't look too professional. But maybe from the internet, that'd be fun to have mugs, mugs and shirts. If yeah, anybody out there, if you guys out there know how to make mugs or shirts, I can just I can just get a black mug and like draw on it with a sharpie. Oh, they had it, actually at Lake Fair. They had they were making mugs there. Oh Where really? You put your picture on it, and you can have your picture like with fireworks behind it, or like you could. They'd put like Justin Bieber in the corner of a shot, or weird stuff like that. Oh man, we missed it, huh? Missed the mug experience. Hey, program, how you doing? Yay, this is Bird. <laughs> Sounds really you know, excited. Um, <clears throat> I'm calling because I wanted to report that uh, the conditions on the beach were very good today for swimming. There are pretty rocks on the beach and it's good to go. And so I recommend it. All right, I hope you're all doing real good. Oh, we are, Bird, thanks. What an exciting day, I guess. I think everybody's super, it sounds excited today. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a Tuesday. We're taking it easy today. Sometimes, I think I should, you know, talk slower on the program, get more time out with what I'm saying. <laughs> so I talk, I end up kind of speeding. I gotta remember always. What what episode is this? What number? Yeah. We were on uh, yeah, we're calling Bird back. We were on episode six six six. Was on the fifteenth. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, that we had the Satanist guy on here. Damn it! You should have called me. Oh uh, yeah, he was here and. Uh, Today is the 24th, so 6667, let's see, well, 25th is going to be 676, so today is 675, which is a pretty good good number. Yeah, sure. That's like a kind of a, a marker number, 25. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 675. So that means we're only 25 days away from the, our, uh, oh, no, never mind. I was going to say from the finale, but... We are farther than 30 days tank. from this to oh. episode 800. Hey, Bird, it's the program. Oh, it's time for the dice game. Oh, dice game. Yeah. 
You could call us back, Bird. You have about uh, 40 minutes. In fact, you have almost exactly 40 minutes because the first ice game is just hitting. So we want to hear more about the beach and stuff, and we can come back on the program. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, so viewers, we're going to get a pen. There's a pen up there, too. If you want to use that one. Oh. It's been there the whole time. I used the fancy silver one. Yeah, Adrian, other Adrian there. You can use that if you want to reach up there. Yeah. It's there all the time. We should get a longer pen because that one's kind of small. It's hard to, yeah. kind of hard to do. <laughs> Did you do it all right? I wrote it on there. I managed to write my number. That's good. All right. Well, here we go. This thing seems tossed out of the way. Seems to be freaking out a little bit. <laughs> here, you want to get those the dice? Oh, it wasn't good. Just one? Yeah, or two. We're doing two? double dice. Double dice uh, now. Oh. Okay. Here's the other one. Here we go. Oh, three and five. I lost. I lost. I didn't. No, I didn't have any of those. Oh man. Of those numbers. We all lost. Well, there's two more. Yeah, we have two more chances, or four <laughs> more chances of two each, or two more chances of two each. Anyway, it's four total. What did you guys have? Um, I picked the number four. Yeah, me too. I think we always pick the same number. Oh really? I was watching um. A couple other episodes of the program and we both pick number four every time oh yeah we uh, that's why we just been i've been picking four for a yeah a while. that's my number that i always pick. oh okay <laughs> I, always pick, I always pick six <laughs> <laughs> all right well we lost today but yeah. we still have a couple more chances this time we did yeah well we checked all the messages we called all bird and um that dan was all, that was all the messages yeah just two today wow yeah neither of them answered we're kind of getting it's kind of a lax lax time here on a tuesday Mm -hmm. I don't know what people are doing. It's the middle of summer, so people are not watching as much late night TV. Yeah. Summer gets calmed, kind of calmed down in the program, and maybe in <laughs> life too. It's just like everything else. So it's pretty fun here. Let's call Freddie, the producer. Oh yeah, let's call Freddie. Let's see how he's doing today. Find out about the production and stuff at TCTV. I think we've been on TV for a while. I think it's or we missed one day, like on Saturday. Really? Yeah. So we're pretty close to the year anniversary of the show, oh, which really? is going to be in September. Oh. So um, we're going to do something for that. But I've been trying to think of what we're going to call it. Hour. Hey, Freddie. How's it going? Hey, we're doing good. How are you doing? Hi, Freddie. Oh, who's that there? <laughs> Adrian. And other Adrian's here oh, cool. as well. Hi, Freddie. Hey. Nice huh. to hear from you guys. I know. It's been a while. It's the Adrian's, yeah. How, how, how yeah, are you doing, Freddie? Yeah. How's TCTV? It's a slow day today. Uh, not a lot's happening. We have the, the board of directors meeting. They met over in um, Studio A. And uh, the oh, there was a crazy whole thing where there was a bunch of kids because they're doing the kids camps here so like it was very slow and then all of a sudden there was like 20 kids running around it was uh it was quite a wild thing and they apparently went up to seattle and uh, checked out the cairo news thing oh yeah and the news they meet yeah, oh cairo I, I think i like como i think cairo is channel five como? cairo cairo yeah, channel five cairo is channel five i like como news channel four What's the do, major do you think difference? it's better? More, uh, is there, do they do better news? I, I just like it more. I think they're more uh, uh, family or f they're like a more, they seem more calm. I think their color, main colors are blue and white. I think the other, I think Cairo is more like kind of red, red colored. I think Angry. It's, yeah. Urgent. Yeah, Cairo is more Angry. urgent. I think Como is more like a, or it's, I don't know. None of the news channels are happy, but I think Como is the most maybe relaxed news channel. I think the Weather Channel is pretty happy. They're, that's like only weather. They don't have much other news. Yeah, I like Steve Pool. Who's Steve, Steve Pool? Steve Pool. Steve Pool is the newscaster on Como. He's been the newscaster on Como forever, for like probably 20 years at least. Wow. Probably longer. That's he's good. Yeah, they they. You keep them around, you know. Good news, guys. You gotta hold on to those guys. Yeah. Yeah, we could report about the weather last week. Maybe we could try to predict the weather. I think tomorrow, uh, in a week, it might be 
partly cloudy. Yeah, see, then maybe the news channel isn't the happy news, you know. It's happy news right now because it's been such nice days. Yeah. Yeah, I think the new the weather is pretty random anyway. I don't really trust the weather reports. Maybe they're getting better, but I think it's just as random to check them as it's just a guess. Just completely guess, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how accurate they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, I have another little bit of CCTV news, too. Uh, if you don't mind me. It, yeah, I yeah. was watching the channel yesterday. We were going to, um, because the show was coming on at 11.30, and I was, you know, watching uh, CCTV beforehand, and uh, there was this really great movie called uh, The The Price of Love. The Price of Love, yeah. And I caught some of that, yeah. Yeah. It was, oh, you already did? Oh, that's great, yeah. The guy, I, I taught that guy, or I don't know if I actually taught him anything, but uh, he went through my class, the TCTV training class. I certified that um, producer. Did you, did you see any tricks that you told him about on the video? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. I mean, maybe... Maybe overall, because, I mean, the class was mostly just being like, here's how to use the camera, here's how to, um, you know, put stuff into Final Cut and then edit it up. So, uh, in some ways, maybe I helped him, but that in was, other ways it was... You think that was, his, was that his first project, or did he just need you to be certify him and he already kind of knew it? He seemed to kind of have a good handle on stuff. He was the guy in the back of the class while I was teaching editing that, was just playing around with the editor the whole time and then would make like really crazy weird video things uh, instead of instead of doing what I was telling him to do. So oh, that's is great. That's good. I mean, it just goes to show that he knows how to do it. So that's all I really care about. How how many how many of your producers actually produce things eventually? I would say I, I hope to say like half. Half, half that's of them good. are actually going on and making their own things. Uh, the other half either kind of disappear, or they don't really make their own thing, but they volunteer and help out with other people's stuff. So they like are still running camera and doing things like that, but they don't have their own show or their own movie or anything like that that they're working on actively. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, acting, teen teenage love. Yeah. The music was really impressive too. The guy who did the music is uh, also acts in the film, and he's uh, he goes. He, like, makes music under the name uh, Corb Beats or something like that. If you type in soundcloud.com slash Corb Beats. Corb. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. He's a pretty, pretty talented bunch of uh, youth. Oh, good. Uh, how long is that going to be running on TCTV? Uh, it looks like it's going to be going all of July. I hope that they get, you know, some more plays. It's a funny, it's a good movie. It, it, it fit really well in the time slot, although I should be a little bit, he should do one that's after like 12.30 or something sometime, I, maybe I'll mention that. Uh, or maybe we can get them on the program to talk about the process or something. Yeah. That's good. How, how about that production and how's that going? Hey, it's coming along really well, I think. We got, uh, we're scheduled in through Saturday, I believe, and then we've also got quite a bit of, uh, we got the YouTube caught up. Uh, when I get back to my house today. I'll upload tonight's episode, the one that's going to air, but we got the commercial up there. Uh, and now that now that I'm caught up from being back from the L.A., uh, the, I'm trying to put a commercial, the commercial for the episode, uh, you know, I upload the, ep the episode for the day. I do the episode commercial for the next day right away so that people can see what's coming up next. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. What do you, if you, have you seen that at all? Do you like that? Is that a thing we should do? Sounds good. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else? You see, you guys want to ask anything for Freddie? I don't know what we're gonna do all the rest of the day here. Uh, yeah, Freddie, do you have any ideas yeah. for us to do on the program? Wait, what was that? Did you see any? Uh, did you see any news stories or anything that's happening? Oh, you know what? I did. There's some kind of... Uh, oh, man, this is why it's tough for, for, for news, because apparently this, maybe it's the Capitol Playhouse. Uh, you get that Capitol Playhouse guy, the artistic director is missing. Whoa. Find him. Hey, it's a commercial break. Oh, his name is Troy, but I don't know the rest of it. He's missing, though.
Dance, holy dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yarder Way. Oh, yeah. All of us. Immersed in the Internet. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Your daily hour with... Yeah. Hi, hey, everybody. We're back. back, yeah. <laughs> so Freddie, we lost Freddie off the line. He said, he said that the Capitol Playhouse guy is missing. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Is it Freddie? Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, I just got dropped. Is it back for commercial break yet? Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Cool. Um, so the guy's missing. Yeah. The guy's missing. They can't find him. He didn't show up to his meeting, and his car. They found his. They found his car and his keys. They're like accounted for, but they can't find him anywhere. And he's continued to just not go up to any of the stuff that he normally goes and does, and no one can find him. He oh, never wow. haven't heard from him. Yeah, it's kind of the key. Where Where did he go? I mean, where, where, Yeah, <laughs> I mean, his car. Is it was his car at his at, at his house or wherever it's parked usually? Yeah, I guess, I think that's that's what I was. That's what I understood from uh, what I heard. Oh, man. He's kidnapped. Here, yeah. Things like, like kidnapping or, I don't know, maybe he got hurt and, and fell like down somewhere. He's walking, yeah. Maybe he's stuck in a well. Yeah. Oh, well. Maybe it's yeah, a classic it's, well story. It's not funny. Well, yeah, but maybe. Very I know well, it's not funny. <laughs> very well might be. He's very well. There's yeah, that's kind of scary. Maybe, I don't know. I hope I hope everything's okay. That when the one time when the show wasn't on for like three days in a row, um, every, my my grandmother and uh, Mr. Ginsey, I think other people they th they thought I was dead. Oh, oh no! Yeah. That's that's a, I guess well yeah. I guess that's he went on TV. The best way to tell the story, okay? Because viewers, if if you're worried about Rick. Uh, just remember that the episode you're watching is probably from a week a week ago. So Yeah, so yeah. I might have been gone I might be dead for a week. Yeah, imagine everything that could happen yeah. in one week. Yeah, I wonder what happened to this guy. Maybe he uh maybe he just got tired of life and or of his life and and uh you know, shredded his birth certificate and hitchhiked to uh, Guatemala. Oh my god. Yeah. He could have done possible. Anything. I've heard I mean Sometimes, every, I think everyone's kind of thought about doing that at some point. They, they say, you know... I'm thinking about it right now. I think it's like a start over. And, and maybe that's what he did. It could be. Yeah. He, what is he running? The Capitol Playhouse? Yeah, I think it was Cap either Capitol Playhouse or... Uh, Olympia Little Theater? Theater type group in Olympia somewhere. Have you, I don't know, I've never seen the Capitol Playhouse thing. Neither have I. Yeah, me either. I'm not really big into plays or anything like that, though. I've gone to the Little Theater before. So. Yeah. They're, they're playing The Wiz pretty soon. That looks. Oh, cool. really? I like The Wiz, but I don't know. I like The Wiz because of Michael Jackson, though, so I don't know. Yeah. And what? Isn't it Tina, Tina Turner? I no, think. I don't who think is, Tina Turner's in that. Who is the... I don't remember. The I know who you're talking... I, somebody is in... The I other person know. in there. I'm not Tina. Yeah. Michael Jackson. If Michael Jackson's not in it, I don't know how good <laughs> well, it could be. that's kind of impossible now. Yeah. Who's it going to be? Who's going to play the Michael Jackson part? That's it. The scarecrow? It's kind of small, yeah. Scarecrow? Large metaphorical shoes to fill there. <laughs> Big time. Yeah, I'm not really into plays. One time I won tickets to a play, and I, it was uh, it was the night before the night before Christmas. Uh, it, but it was like a play version. It was actually pretty cool. The Nightmare? Or yeah, Nightmare oh, Before that Christmas. Seems fun. Did they have masks? Yeah, they had really awesome costumes. 
Wow. It was like, but it was really, it was really cool. Was it, it like well professional? Done. Yeah, it was. It was really well done. The tickets were supposed to be really expensive. I actually thought about selling them, but I figured I might as well. I, oh, they were free. Yeah, I saw Disney a couple of Disney on ices when I was very young, and I, I remember being enjoying those. And they, I think they were like the movies. I guess those oh. Disney movies could be plays because they're all musicals kind of stuff. Yeah. I just can't do as much. Yeah. I watched uh, the play of A Christmas Story once. That was oh, pretty Christmas cool. Christmas play. So yeah. You know that one, right? Yeah, The Christmas Story is the same director as the guy that did um, Black Christmas, which is a murder movie about Christmas, and then he did that <laughs> other one right after it. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Are we still talking to Are we still yeah, talking to Freddie? Freddie's just listening. I'm just listening. I wow. actually probably should go. But it was so nice to talk to you guys. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great night. And keep on rocking the program. And have a good time. Oh, bye, okay, Freddie. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye, Freddie. Bye-bye. <laughs> I didn't know he was listening to all Yeah, there yeah. he goes. <laughs> just trailed off. He was still there, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired today. I'm just rambling yeah that's good that's i'm yeah <laughs> yeah well pretty much yeah tuesday night tuesday yeah, yeah we can do this really well tonight yeah you have you you're not gonna sleep and i i did that lake fair thing for a long time so i'm still not recovered i stayed up for over 24 hours on sunday so i'm still not quite recovered from that yeah i wanted oh, wow. to do the teardown thing but they they totally are being D-bags about it and just pretty much hired all the big dudes. And then sent oh, I did it. Home. I did it, but I don't know. I think you're, you might be, oh, well, you're maybe smaller than me, maybe way more than me, though. I don't know if we could, who, who, which one of us could do more I don't know. They, labor. They, they just sent me home. They told, they didn't give me an, they didn't even give me, they wouldn't even give me an application yeah. to fill out. I thought that was, I thought that was kind of messed up. But there well, was a lot of people there trying to do it. Yeah. I was there all week, and now I have a tan and a sunburn. Actually, I'm kind of, you can see I've got spots. I have uneven spots in my head today. Oh, no. You can see, yeah, you can see it on TV. Oh, I don't, I How hate, are you I hate when the uneven spots happen. <laughs> uneven spots from the sun, from my tan. I think I was standing and doing one thing for a long time, facing the wrong way, and now I have a spot on my, on my, on the side of my head. Yeah, yeah they, uh, an uneven tan. Some people call that a hitchhiker's tan. When yeah. Only, when you're only tan on one side. Everyone's yeah. gonna make fun of you. Uh oh. I gotta, I've gotta prepare myself and remind, <laughs> remember, yeah, remember not to cry when people, <laughs> people start making fun of me. Don't cry, Kenny. It's okay to cry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's what, that's what happens when people make fun of me. That's it. So, just start crying. Here we're calling Alex. Alex is gonna be here tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Alex and James. Hello? Hello? Hey, Alex. Yeah? It's the program. What's up? <laughs> We're on TV. Everybody's so lively today. <laughs> yeah. I know. Nobody sounds excited are you, about Are anything. you sleepy? Yeah, I'm at work trying to sleep for a few hours. You're at work trying to sleep? You get paid to sleep? Yeah. Oh, do nanny. Yeah. You're sleep you're sleeping while you're nannying? Yeah, the baby's sleeping. Or the kid or whatever. Are they gonna wake you up if you wake up? Don't you have to watch them sleep or Uh no. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wake up before she gets here. No, well you coming on the program tomorrow? Yeah, at eleven. At eleven AM, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there at eleven. You gonna are you gonna be hey, back James. Are you gonna be back here to nanny more? Am I gonna what? Are you gonna coming back into town to nanny more? Cause you nanny and Lacey, right? Oh yeah, I but I nanny and Lacey on Sundays. Uh, today's on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm in Auburn right now. Oh, you have more than one nannying gig, huh? Yeah. You gonna go to that super mall? You ever been to the super mall? Um, no, I haven't. Oh, you never even been there? Have you have you guys been there? I've been there. What, what's the super mall? It's in Auburn. It's in Auburn. It's not that super really. But it's really big, I think. Yeah, it sucks. I haven't been there in like <laughs> I would oh I would like to go back. What is it, like outlet stores? Yeah. Yeah. I actually tried to go there on Easter for some reason, but they were closed on Easter. Oh, I was about to say it was probably really crazy shopping. No, it was just closed. I was like 
I, I had to go to Auburn for some. Why did I go? Why did I have to go to Auburn? I don't know what. Go to the of super mall. It's on Easter, duh. Oh Wednesday. yeah. What? Of course, they're closed on Easter. It's time for the dice game. Uh. Okay. In a place called what? In Wo in Woodburn, Oregon, there's a big super outlet Woodburn. mall. Woodburn. Do they call it the Wo super mall though? No, it's called it's just called Woodburn Outlet Malls, and I I guess it's uh like, I guess it's like one of the biggest uh tourist attractions in Oregon because it's huge or something. Well, hey Alex, do I pick a number? Which I think is kind of sad. Dice game. Alex, pick a number. Hello. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you want to pick a number for the dice game? Yeah, I pick one. You lost. I also lost. I lost. We all we lost all again. Lost. We all lost again. Nobody we won. All it's lost. okay. So we're all tied up still. We're all tied up. Uh, I don't. I don't lose. Yeah. Well, you. We're. I guess nobody lost yet because we're all tied up. So there's no winner or loser yet. I'm tied at zero. Okay. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. Can I um? Can I uh map quest that address you gave me? Yes. So it's on MapQuest? It is there, yeah. Okay, is it kind of by the old place or no? No, it's on the other side of town. So is it by where you live? Yes. Okay, I don't even get when you guys sit on the other side of town because like, it's, like, it's not really that far though. Yeah, like, it's not, but it's the east I mean? side and the west side, so they call, they call it the other side of town. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, but it's just funny, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's, it's not as big as other... It's a small town. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get around. Um, it's because it's on it's, it it's on one side of downtown, because downtown is there, and then the east side is east of downtown, the west side is west of downtown. That's why we call it the opposite side of town. See, Alex? Hello? Yeah, could you hear that? <laughs> I cannot hear you at all. You're oh, really? breaking up. All right, well, we'll talk to you tomorrow. tomorrow we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. Yep. There, she, there she goes. What's Hi. up, Evan? Oh, Hip-hop. What are you doing here? What, can, can you? Oh, she's not here. Can you say hi? I'm going to give you a mic. Have you, you know, we're on it's TV. It's TV show. Your sister, come on here and read the journal. Yeah, you're supposed to read the journal sometime. That's a oh, mic. Really? That sounds great. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. We've, um, well, <clears throat> we've got this journal that uh, it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fade effect. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool because that looks like those old school uh, yeah, exactly. psychedelic TV shows. Yeah. Or like those pictures you used to get when you were a kid with like your your profile <laughs> in the corner and like you sitting. Yeah, I remember like those. Like three or four different poses and then like yeah, the main. Yeah, all in the same picture nice on like, like a big. on a black background. Totally. Yeah, well, when I, and when I was a kid, they had these laser. That's the best thing. They had these laser backgrounds. Do you remember the laser background? Yeah. In the 80, like the. A bunch of my cousins 90s. had those, and I never did, and I would. I was really jealous. Man, I had I had the I really want to find my like fourth grade school photo because I got like this crazy Billy Ray Cyrus mullet that like comes up here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like I absolutely and I had like have blonde to see that. blonde straight hair back in those those days. It was like down to here. I had this crazy Billy Ray Cyrus mullet, and I'm doing this big like fake smile. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus. And the, it's got the lasers in the background. <laughs> <laughs> lasers. That's too good. Yeah. Have you ever I like what you've done with your hair? Oh, thank you. And your eyebrows. Thank you. Uh, did you do your eyebrows, John? Not really. Oh, okay. Just the bangs kind of make them look different. She has a new haircut from the last time you guys saw her on the program. Yeah. Have you ever Short. Have you ever been on TV before? Is uh, the guy, new guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're gonna be when on TV. I was a little kid, uh, my dad took us to this World War II reenactment thing, and the local oh news showed up. <laughs> that was so funny. Where was that? St. Louis, Missouri. So did you get you got on the news, and did they talk to you? 
No, it wasn't that cool. Um, but, you know, when you're 10, you're pretty stoked just to even be on. Did you see? Just, just like kind of in the background. Yeah. Did you see yourself on, on the show, like later yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, I just got to see it later. And you were just like back where you waving? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Like next to the CSS, dude. But not no TV since then, since you were a little kid? No. Oh. Were you on Cops? No. <laughs> More but, Yeah, right. Well, you do you want to tell another story about being on TV? Or? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of it's kind of freaky though. It's funny. Okay. Uh, like my sisters, uh, this one time they came over by my house and they were like, Evan, what's what show would you least like to have anything to do with at all? And uh, I was like, well, you know, Jerry Springer. Yeah. And uh, well, as it turns out, I, I when I lived in LA, I used to go and chill with these kids down in that lived in Hollywood, <laughs> and, uh, and he was like doing a bit on like homeless kids in Hollywood, and I was on the show. My sister's like, "You were on Jerry Springer?" Yeah, I was on Jerry Springer, oh and God. I didn't even know it because I wasn't into TV then. But my sisters just had, like turned on the television. They saw they they said that they were watching a movie and like the TV came on for a second, and they're like, "Wait a minute!" And then they they just turned it off, you know, like you do when the movie's over, right? Yeah. And then, but then they were like, wait a minute, was that Evan on there? <laughs> 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 and then, like, they turned it back on, and sure enough, they, they put a tape in. And it's pretty funny, because I mentioned it, like, like I like I was traveling, okay, this is really weird. I, I was traveling in Europe, and I hung out with these two Australians, and I told them about that episode, and they knew it. Oh, they, they'd seen they, it. They were like, wait a minute, were you in that episode? Like, what was that guy's name, Speedy Dave or something? And, you know, and he was Speedy like, Dave. and he was this dude who hung out like on the street on Hollywood Boulevard. Whoa. Did, so did you meet Jerry Springer, or you were just? Yeah, man. He took the, check it out, dude. Cause I, I seriously didn't watch TV. I didn't know that. I was just like, oh, there's a TV show here. Okay, whatever. And he took us all out to pizza afterwards. So I, I've, I've had pizza with Jerry Springer. But you didn't know like, who he show. was. I knew that he had a TV show, but I didn't know the scope. Of Oh man, was that in the nineties or? What? When did you when did you do that? That was in the nineties, yeah. Was it before he did all the fighting show? Yeah, he the was like more shows. serious still. Yeah, he was, oh. like, he was more like he was Sally like to, back in the day. He was, he was like trying kind to do like. Yeah, right. He's like sociologist. Oh. Did you? Uh, he do you still have the kind of does that. He still has the final word on his show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where he gives <laughs> the, like advice that it's, it's kind of easy. What did what did you talk about? You were on the when you were on Jerry Springer. Uh, you know, I I didn't say anything. He interviewed some of those kids who were living in that. Oh, you were just like there and like waving. This, there was a squat like where I'd go and I don't know, I'd go and get high with the kids in the squat. <laughs> yeah, there were there. And my God, uh, and one of them, his name was Scruff, and like Jerry Springer interviewed him a whole bunch. I kind of I just like waved in the background, but I was on international television. Oh, in Australia, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They Even didn't, in yeah. freaking Australia. They didn't pay Probably you, huh? in freaking Cambodia. They don't, do they, pay, they don't pay for Jerry Springer, then, I guess, the guests and stuff? Huh? They don't pay you to get on camera for Jerry Springer. No. Yeah. No, no you got pizza. You got the pizza. Oh, pizza's pretty yeah. good, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when you're, you're squatting. Yeah. You're squatting to get some pizza, yeah. That's fun. That's fun to me that you met him before he was super famous. Before he sucked. Yeah. yeah. I like Back trying, he was trying cool. to, like, do something. I still, I like Jerry Springer still, I watch it on TV. <laughs> Was I hear you, hear you guys say that this has some kind of association with free radio on the air? Mm, no. no. TCTV. We're on TCTV, yeah. Oh, okay. Public access community television. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We're on at 11.30 every night. Yeah. You ever seen the program? You, what's your name? Rick. Rick, Rick. I'm Evan. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh, uh, thanks for coming on the show, yeah. Do I get a check for like 500 bucks? Oh, like yeah. Do on Johnny Carson? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they give you more money than that to be on. Johnny no, it Carson. sucks because I know because I, I watched enough when I was really little that like that like they they would always all complain like, well this is just a plug because they just give me a check for a couple. Of oh. That's enough money for me. I would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd be I mean, I mean you know, me too, but not like Madonna. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you don't watch much TV? No, I don't. Well, you know what? I've been chilling. I got, I live with these neighbors that call the hippies. Yeah. And uh, I've been chilling over there and watching television with them some. I've been getting into this. Uh, I've been getting into this. Oh, it's time for a break. <laughs>
Hey, it's the commercial. Hey, it's the commercial. <laughs> hey, uh, it's the commercial. Hey, out there, commercial. Watch the program every night, 11:30. Every On TC TV. Right. Bird, Bird is here. You got it. Every night, 11:30 p.m. Yeah, say it on the mic, Bird. Bird, you're a great guy. Every night, 11:30 p.m. Watch us on TV. Thanks. You're a great guy. Human beings are great. Can I hear me? Now you know again. Oh, oh, now again. I just want to see how many people, are, if anybody's watching out there. Uh, if you're watching, call 360 463 <laughs> Is that your phone number? I think so. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not sure yet? We're going to call <laughs> you in a week. Yeah, it's uh, on next week. It's yeah, on, it's on, it's on a week. The right number anyway, you're going to start so. getting these numbers. Yeah, people don't know their own phone numbers now these days because of their cell phones. I mean, some of them, some people do, but you. Well, like, how you give your phone number at? I mean, you just call their phone. I guess it, one, some, one, one of you has to know the number. Uh, but so only half of people know their phone. Yeah, number? Uh, half of them are like, oh no, you just call me. I don't even know the number. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Or usually I just give a fake number. Yeah, you should uh, give out the program number. <gasps> you guys never seen that's us. a really good idea. That's, that's what I. That's what I tell people. Doing that. That's what I tell people. You viewers out there, if you are. Uh, if yeah. some sleaze ball hits on you and wants your phone number, give them the program <laughs> number. Yeah, and then or write, you know, if some sleazy girl hits on you, same thing. Yeah. Sleazy person of any gender. Any just don't want to get their phone number out. There are more than two. Have Call. you ever seen a uh, jerk beast? No, what's that? It was this old. It was this old thing. It's on YouTube. It was. It used to be on like community television up in Seattle back in the day. Somebody I know who's from around here, grew up around here. Yeah. Like showed me these old YouTubes and they're freaking hilarious. This dude like. Dresses up in this crazy freaking big, big brown, ugly looking outfit with a big, ugly looking face. And his name's Jerk Beast. And people call Jerk in, Beast. people call in and ask him stuff. And he just, he just like tells them what, how much he thinks they suck. It's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's from Seattle. Yeah, Jerk Beast. Jerk Beast. You ever, ever want to laugh? Look it up. We should call his show YouTube. and get him to call your show. I think he's probably done with her. It's an old show. Yeah, I think it's oh, old. Oh man. I don't know if it's around anymore. I don't think it's around anymore. You like McDonald's uh, there? Who, me? Yep. <laughs> no, not really. Last time I had some McDonald's was at the airport. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the airport on my way back from Missouri uh, a couple Christmases ago, I like walked by McDonald's and I just started thinking about like all the stuff and this crap about food in Olympia, like yeah. all these assholes telling me how to eat and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I usually am against McDonald's, really. But you know what? I was like, you know what? Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking you Olympia McDonald's. food Nazis. I'm going to go get a fucking fries at McDonald's. You ate McDonald's. So I had a McDonald's <laughs> fries, and that was the first time in like 10 years or something. Yeah. Oh, should I not be cussing, dude? No, you can am cuss. I gonna you get, can cuss. Am I going to get in trouble with the No, FCC? we're on after 11... Uh, so I went and I got some fries at McDonald's. Yeah, we... And my shit was bad. It was weird. Don't eat fries at like McDonald's if you oh, don't normally do that. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah we, we're on, we have free speech. We operate under free speech. You can say anything you want. Uh, according to you or according to the FCC? No, we are not <laughs> under the jurisdiction of the FCC. Oh, cool. The FCC uh, can can lose their, their brains there out there. <laughs> I don't know, you can't touch us, FCC. Yeah. Say whatever we want. 
Yeah, the yeah. FCC, they're bad. Boobs. <laughs> yeah. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Carl from McDonald's. Uh, where are you from, Missouri? You want to call, we call Missouri. What city are you from? <laughs> I'm from... I'm from I'm from a suburb of St. Louis called St. Charles. Oh, St. Louis, we call St. Char oh, St. Charles. St. Charles. St. Charles, Missouri. That's M M I or M M O. M, M I. M I. S S O U R I. But M for the um. For the abbreviation. For the abbreviation M O. Yeah. Oh yeah. It came up on here. Well, oh. look, are you like Google mapping this? We're uh, we're looking it up on the thing. We're looking up their phone number. We're gonna call McDonald's there in St. Charles. <laughs> See how they're doing over there. Awesome. Oh, you know what McDonald's you should call? I worked at uh, McDonald's in Central Oregon when I was 18. Oh, we'll call them next. Sure. Okay. Well, first, we'll call this one. It's the, one on the one in Redmond. You should call the McDonald's. I got, I got employee of the month. Oh yeah. <laughs> this place is. I was the master of the fucking tinned one, man. So you worked, you worked at McDonald's then. <laughs> yeah. We're calling Zumbel you know, Road. Zumbel Road, shit, yeah. I grew up just a block off of Zumbel Road. Did you ever go to this McDonald's? Probably. Which one would that be? Oh yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, I used to go there all the time as a little kid. It's got a, a fake fire engine in the front. You know, cool. they, they always have like the, they try to be local themed sort of. Or something. Oh yeah. For some reason they have a St. Charles fire engine. Let's find out if they still have it. <laughs> awesome. They might be closed there. Dude. Oh yeah, it's kind of late. Yeah, maybe we should have to call. We have to call Hawaii. McDonald's, help you? Hey, McDonald's, do you guys still have that fire truck in the front of the place? Uh, we don't have a fire <laughs> truck in front of the um. place. But it's like, it's, it's like incorporated into the design of the lobby, right? Is it there? That? It's like incorporated into the design of the lobby. It's like a, it's not a real engine, but like the lobby has this like... What? It has this engine go the, running through the middle of it. It's made, it's made out of wood, like kind of like uh, a toy, like a toy thing, you know. And then it's got benches built into part of it. Is that still there? Is that still there? No. Oh, wait. Right. Do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? What's up? Do you guys have the orange milkshakes? No. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh bummer. They're not having them in the Midwest. That's a drag. Cause man, we're rocking it over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there they go. Maybe they that hang was, up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was, that was the best McDonald's call. Maybe that was the wrong Zumbo. Is there more than one? No, that's the right one. It's the only one. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh I know where it is. Oh, oh, no. Duchesne was the one. That's it. Duchesne, on Duchesne Street? Duchesne Road. Like, it's uh, D-U. Oh, yeah. Here is it. Here it is. It looks like Tachesney. Yeah. Okay, we'll call this one. Oh my god. <laughs> we're trying to... <laughs> that guy has no idea. This is the one. That guy has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> we're going to try to locate this... Uh, <laughs> locate this... Thing. Oh, shit, Whoa. Man. oh, you're knocking over the backdrop. <laughs> I know. We don't want to see that nasty garage back there. Yeah, what's back there? There's a, sh there's a hole. Looking at the hole. Yeah, that thing's not stable at all. It's not even connected to anything. It's just kind of sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this one's close. I love your, uh... Oh, hey, McDonald's? Yes? Hey, do you guys still have the fire truck themed lobby? No, we don't. I'm sorry. Oh, did you did you remember when they had that? Did you see them take it down? I'm sorry? Did you ever see it or when they took it down? I'm sorry? Did you see it before? Like, have you ever seen that there? Like, I want to know when they took it down. No, we actually don't. But did did you ever have it though? Like you don't remember ever being. We did being? a long time ago. You, you saw it before when it was there. Yeah. Oh okay. Hey, does Don Green still work there? Do what? Does Don Green still work there? <laughs> Don Green? No, I guess not. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how's it going there in St. Charles, man? Are you there? Hello? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bummer. Yeah, they hang out. We, oh, man, they, they, they got <laughs> that to us. So that's your hometown, huh? Yeah, that's my hometown. Well, at least they, they acknowledge the fire truck had been there in the past. I mean, I ate, McDonald's. I ate Big down. Macs at that place in the 80s, dude. Whoa. Yeah. All right, we want to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chuck Green still working. Dawn, Dawn Green. Dawn Green. Dawn Green. She lived down the street, and uh, we went over to her house... Her 
her house and played Atari all the time because her parents were gone all the hey, time. It's time for the final dice game. Here, you want to write a number <laughs> on your hand? What? You write a number between one and six on your hand here. Okay. Um, what's the what's the one that you worked at in Redmond? You said. That's right, Redmond, Oregon. Re Redmond, Oregon. Huh? There's, I don't know. There's Redmond, Oregon. There's Redmond, Washington. No, Redmond, Oregon. It's it's north of Bend, like 20 miles north of Bend. I worked on trails in Redmond. Oh yeah. Redmond, Oregon. I didn't know they had trails. Why would they have Redmond, Oregon, and Washington? That's confusing. To be confusing. Which one was it on? Rim, Rim Rock Way? No. Oak Tree Lane? Does it, does it say like South 97 or something like that? Highway 97? Yeah, yeah. What is that? It's on a highway, yeah, huh? That would that would have been the old one. That was the only one back then. I heard that town's bigger now. We're calling them. Yeah, there's several now in Redmond. That's a bummer. You should tell them to pick another for the dice there. game. That sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is going on? I think this machine is kind of freaking out a little bit. The switcher machine. There it is. <laughs> Reverend McDonald, this is Kyle. Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys still have your pictures of your employees of the month from a long time ago? No, we don't. Do you keep them archived? Because um, I'm trying to do genealogy, and my uncle got got employee of the month there in 1989. It's just like an old family story that we're real proud of. Yeah. You guys don't keep that? And, uh, I'm just trying to get that together for the... No. No? No, no we don't. I just can't believe you guys don't keep that stuff archived, man. It's such important information. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> did you get your picture taken for when you got employee of the month? Yeah, the I did. And you know what was really funny was uh, oh, four. We won, Kenny. Yeah, we yeah. won. Hey man, I got four too. Oh yeah, yeah we all won. Adrian, oh, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian lost. You're a loser. And Alex won too. <laughs> oh yeah, we all won with fours. Great way to go, us. We're the winners. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> I right. unplugged the camera, now there's a black hole. Yeah. All right. Well, that was good. Those are some McDonald's what stuff. What does YDHWM mean? Oh, it's, it's your daily hour with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this guy, he's off the street. This See, goes on for an hour. Yeah, it does. Shit. Every day. <laughs> this is episode... Is it 11.30? Yeah, we're on at 11.30. Right so, now so it's... So it's like, what's, how fucking late is it? Right now, for the viewers, it's uh, 11, you know, 20... Oh. It's like this. You see that clock right here that we're looking at? This is like a clock that goes around the 11, so that's like the minute here. Oh, we're almost see. done. Yeah, we have only about six minutes left or ten minutes left, and that's going to be the thing. Yeah, we're in the new studio, so this is somebody who just walked into the studio from the that was just here randomly. They don't know about the sh you didn't know about the program, right? I heard about it from Sadie. I've been one to read this this journal that this old roomie left behind. Uh, we had this this we had this roomie who like. Uh, she's this girl from Texas named Missy, named mm -hmm. Missy, from Tex yeah, Texas. Yeah, really? My Seriously? Name is Missy, is yeah, because yeah, like nowadays, in these days, these times, now you'll meet people from Texas because it's 1220, I mean 2012, who don't talk, who just talk like this. You know? Yeah, they're Texas people, yeah. And yeah, you know, like, where's the accent? And they're like, not where I'm from. And, but like, this girl was from Texas. Yeah, and, uh, from real Texas. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, she has this, I don't know, I, I I just deduced that she basically just like strippered her way across the country to Whoa. our house Whoa. somehow. <laughs> and uh, she was only there for a month. Uh, she blew through and left like like three trash bags full of like baby rhinestone clothing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh <my> God. <laughs> and this totally hilarious journal about the like 30 dudes that she was with in the course of months and time that she was in Olympia. <laughs> and it's pretty wow. it's pretty amazing. It's all like in dialect and everything. Uh, like, get it, girl. Yeah. She, Fa she, left, it, cream in his she left it there? <laughs> yeah. It's here? Yeah, it's I, oh, I wow. have it. I keep it next to my nightstand just to look at <laughs> <laughs> for entertainment. How sometimes. long how long is it? <laughs> you gotta publish. I should get it published, yeah. huh? I wanna well, broadcast it on your show. Yeah, bring it on the program. Yeah. You can come back, we're here every day. Okay, cool. Yeah. Come, come back come and back re soon. read some excerpts. Cool. Yeah. yeah oh, sure. did you guys hear about the Batman shooting? I'm sure everybody's yeah. heard about that. I want to kind of. Um, I've been talking about that for a couple Christian days. Christian Bale went and visited 
the people in the hospital. Oh, wow. Yeah. What bat, what bat oh. Man? You don't know about the Batman shootings? No. Oh, this is okay. So He was dressed as Batman. No. No, he didn't go dressed as Did Batman. Did you hear about this? I, I heard about some shootings, but I didn't know. All right. So this, you get to Ad Adrian over there is going to hear about this for the first time. Yeah, they were at the midnight premiere of Batman. In oh, Colorado. In Colorado, yeah, there was a big shooting. This guy came in with, like, a bunch of guns and tear gas. And he, like, tear gassed the place and he shot, like, like 50 people and killed, like, 12 people and injured the rest of them. And he said he was the Joker. Yeah. And he oh, went to... man. Yeah. That's weak, man. Isn't so that freaky? I might go see Batman tonight, actually. So that guy I just needed, like, some love and dude. Yeah. For real. He was a young guy. That's that's, a, that's weird. Do you know 20? what part of Colorado? The Aurora. Uh, yeah. Apparently, Colorado Aurora. is a pretty yeah. Gun, yeah, crazy Columbine place. happened yeah. there too. Columbine and other several other school shootings really? too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to huh. live in Colorado. Oh when yeah. I was a kid. Did it, was it rough? Yeah. Did it seem violent? No. No. Did it, was, it seem tense? I had this. Did it uh, seem socially tense? I mean, there's like a group of kids that called me AIDS Drian, but that was like about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. What did it? I mean. It, <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, man. That's about as far as it. I feel your violence. pain. <laughs> what, did, you, did, you, did you get that name too? Is that, yeah, that yeah, name? yeah, I got the AIDS. AIDS, 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 AIDS nickname. <laughs> well, my my name is Evan Lytle. Yeah. So when I was little, I got called the Avon Lady. <laughs> Dan, Dan's calling. Oh, you cool. Yeah, no <laughs> boy. Why is it the Avon Lady? Uh, you know, they just wanted to say the most sissy thing that would sound like your name. Hello. Evan Lytle, Hi, Avon Dan. Lady. Uh, it kinda, it's kind of close. Hey, Dan, how you doing? We're talking about eight-year-olds. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Fine. Hey, uh, great. Uh, what uh, you doing now? <laughs> what? He's in the program. He's in the program. Say hi to Dan. Hi, Dan. It's Adrian. Hi, Dan. Hi, hi Dan. What's going on? It's Evan. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? What are you up to, Dan? Hey, well, what I'm about I'm that I'm sack you owe me for, dude? <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm watching TV. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm, watching, I'm watching TV. Oh, uh, what you oh, watching? Yeah? That was totally a joke, seriously. <laughs> what you, what you I can joke about, about shit like that. What do you, you can joke. What are you watching? <laughs> what's on TV, Dan? Uh, love, love American style. Love American style. Really? Yeah. That's freaking awesome. What is that? It, 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 it's a television show. Yeah. Love American style. Oh, you know it. Something is the red, white, and blue. What, what happens on that show? Is it a dating show? No, it's a no, super it, it, corny. It's a, oh, God. It, 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 it's kind of a comedy. Oh, yeah? Oh. It, it, well, hey, Dan, do you want to come back uh, on, the pro on the program? You should come uh, back. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll be on the program again. In maybe at the end of July. Okay. Like on maybe maybe next Tuesday. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah that, 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 that depending about it. Okay. Hey, it's the end of the show. Thanks, Dan. Okay. We'll talk to, okay, bye, bye. Bye, Dan. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thanks, everybody. It's the end of the show. We made it through. Yay. I was worried that we wouldn't for a minute. Yeah. I was very tired. Hey, thanks Facebook. Thanks phones. Thanks everybody. Thanks Twitter. Thanks Thurston County. Yeah. Thanks, crew. <laughs> Thanks, viewers. Yeah. Thanks, TCTV. Woo! Thanks, USA. Yeah. <laughs> Thebaby.com. Check it out. Oh. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye.